Hi, right, George here. And I want to show you around the new Mini Tool Movie Maker 6.1, which is a very easy to use beginner level video editor. This video is sponsored by Mini Tool, where the makers of Movie Maker. And I'll be using the free version for this video. And I'll put the link for this in the description. Just go ahead and click on that link and get right down to the free download. And this works in Windows. It's a Windows editor. Clear back to version 7 all the way up to the current version 11. Let's go back over to the Mini Tool Movie Maker Editor. There we go. First off, of course, down below here we have our video timeline. You see here's that one video clip we have right in the middle here. This is our play window or preview window right in here. Click on the play button. You can then preview this. If you have sound, you can control your sound right here, your volume. Of course, for most online videos, like if you're doing something for YouTube, for instance, you want to have your sound separate. And for that, there is an audio track down below here. You can add in audio. And then above, you can add in additional tracks in here, which can be used for text and graphics and elements and so forth here above your video layer. Now, one thing I want to point out is that your standard menus here are in a different place from most programs. They're over here on the right-hand side. That's those three lines right here. And there's your menus. Here's your file menu and the help menu right there. So instead of being on the left side like most programs, it's over here on the right-hand side. Okay, the first thing we'll have to do here if we're going to be using this program is, of course, to bring in some video clips, some elements. Now we can import video, music, and pictures over here. We have three things that can be imported. It's in the media section right here. Easy to do, just click on this import media files button right here. Now they also have a downloader for YouTube videos. It's a separate program that you'll have to install, but you can then download from YouTube right here into Movie Maker. Let's go ahead and bring in some files. Click on the Import Media Files button. And I have just a collection of things in here. This is my projects folder. I'm just going to grab all of this stuff. So it's a bunch of videos, some still images, and some music files in here. I'll bring it all in at the same time. Click on Open. We'll let those load in. If we take a look at these, they were actually imported here into the correct folders. The videos went into the video folder, music went into the music folder, and pictures went into the pictures folder. Now it's real easy to use the Movie Maker here. Notice I have a clip down below. This is a fairly long clip. It's three and a half minutes long. Let's say I wanted to cut this short. I'll just pull the playhead down here, find a spot that I like. Let's see right here. Notice on the play window, we have these forward and back buttons. I'm going to step forward or back by one frame at a time. There's our playhead at that specific spot. And right here, there is a little split button. Click on that. It then splits that into two pieces. So I now have two video segments. In between those, we're now seeing a transition. This is one of the real easy ways to use this. You can make transitions very quickly here inside of Movie Maker. And then here's our transition section. Let's put the playhead here on this video, hit the plus sign, and it then adds that transition to the next clip. Let's take this piece out. I'm just going to right click and delete. And we'll add a new clip over here. Let's go back to our media. And I'll grab this close up on here, plus button. It brings it into our timeline. Notice when you do that, we lost our transition over here. So let's just bring that back in again. Back up to transitions. It's just plus sign. There we go. So now see how that transition works. I'll bring the playhead back a little bit. Hit the play button. And there's our transition. Real nice, real smooth. So it's real easy to bring in new video clips. Just go to your media window, hold your mouse over a clip, get a little preview window right here, see what that clip is all about. Position your playhead. I'm just come down to this one. I'll put my playhead right here. Let's just hit the plus sign, add those clips in. There we go. And then come back in and adjust transition. So real easy to work with our film clips. You can move clips around, just drag and drop like that to reposition them. There we go. You can delete film clips as we already saw, just right click and delete. You also can adjust the time. These are all at their full length, so they're very short clips. This one is much longer, so I can adjust my play time here. Just scroll over to the end here. Notice that my cursor changes from a multi-arrow to a two-way arrow. At that point, I can drag this and adjust the time, the length of this, because I have more video available from that particular clip. Or I can make it shorter if I want to. Just pull it back this way and make it shorter. If you want to add music or an audio track down below, let's just go over here to Music. Here are these songs that I just added in, and then here are the songs that came with Movie Maker. Let's just come down and just grab something down below here someplace. This one I've used in the past. Hit the plus sign, bring that in, and notice that it brings the music in and it takes it as far as your video is. So it fills up the whole length of your video. If I want to change clips, I actually can have multiple clips in here. I'm just going to grab the end of this, pull it backwards. Like that, let's just come in here and grab another clip. There we go, so now I have two audio clips here and they're just back to back. 
Okay, let's talk about our tracks over here, track one and track two, which I added in by clicking on that plus sign right there. These are for text and also for elements. Let's go up here, we have effects. These are simply coloration effects, contrast effects, things like that you can add onto your video. Next to that, we have text. And there are a lot of text effects, even some new ones in here, some new text animation effects. And the way you use these is you choose a location with your playhead. Let's go over here and grab just a real basic text like that one here. Bring my playhead back, hit the plus sign, and here is text on top of our video. You can see right there, there is our text that says title. You can move your text around once it's here. On the right hand side, you can change what it says. Just type in a new title over here. There we go. Hot air balloons. You can change your typeface, lots of typefaces to choose from. You can change your type size. If you have multiple lines, you can adjust your line spacing right here. Bold, italic, left, center, right, justified. You can also change the coloration of your text. Click on this and you can choose a new color for your text. Or over here, you can even choose a color for the background. Say I wanted to make this to a different background color. There's a dark blue background color. I'll put some space in front of that and some space behind that. And there we go. Notice that that stays with our text. So very easy to do this. And then we can control the length of our text here just by grabbing the text box and dragging that out and controlling our length. So that's 29.7 seconds for that. Let's bring it back a little bit. Now there are different kinds of text. Some are overlays like this one. Some overlays like our new one right here have an animation to it. Here, let's just go ahead. I'll put the playhead right here. Let's add this in. There is that. I'll stretch out a little bit and let's play this and you'll see that we have that animation going on. There we go, comes in like that. And then stays as long as we have it timed out for the length of our text element. And then goes out again. Now some text down below have included video elements in them. These will come in as a video layer and not as a text layer. For instance, let's take this one right here, click the plus sign. Comes in as a video element with text on top of the video element. And the text, as you can see here, is locked to that particular video element. The play button. This is just kind of moving coloration in the background there and an animated bit of text on that. So now, just like working with text, put this down to here. We also have graphic elements. Now these have animation to them. There we go, a little animated bit here. These are our new ones, just a little animated thumbs up sign, like button right here. Now this is brand new and I haven't downloaded this yet from online. So I'll click the download button. Downloads that fast, hit the plus sign, and it then adds it right in. I'll put it right down here. Let's play this. And it has a little animation to it. So you have these little animated elements you can also add right onto your video. Very easy to do. We also have motion, which allows you to do such things as zooms and pans and so forth. Let's take a look at this one. Here's a pan down effect. There we go. Here's a pan along the top, left to right. Now to make these easy to see, since all my video clips have motion on them already, Let's bring in a still image, go back here to media and go down here to pictures and I'll just grab this sunset picture. Let's just bring this in. It'll come in right there where the playhead was. There we go. I'll stretch that out a little bit and let's add in a motion effect and let's do a pan up right here, plus sign. And let's now see how that works. And there's that pan up motion right there. And when you're on any of your video clips or on a still image, you can go over here and adjust your properties for your image or properties for your video. Duration, contrast, saturation, brightness. Let's say I wanted to have this a bit brighter, a bit more contrasty, I think would help. Or a bit more saturation. And that's better looking. So you're gonna adjust all those things. You even can use 3D LUT files, 3D LUT adjustments if you want to, which are preset settings for your contrast, saturation, and brightness. Here's that motion effect right here. If I wanted to remove that, just click that trash can. I can then remove that motion effect. And we also can do a rotation in here. I can either flip this like this, flip it up or down, or rotate to any angle. So a lot of stuff available here inside this great little video editing program. And of course, you want to save your program at some point, and that's right over here, little three lines, file, and save project right here. That's now saved out. And then to export this out as a final video, that's right up here where it says export. We go to a PC or to a device, up to you. Choose your format. I normally use MP4 for my video output. Choose where you're saving to. Resolution, frame rate, duration are all available right down here. Click on settings to adjust those things. Quality, best, better, or good. Choose OK. And of course, a little reminder down here that the free version exports up to two minutes in length. If you need more than two minutes, just go ahead and upgrade to the paid version. And I'll just close that out. 
There are also several templates you can work from here if you want to just make things a lot easier for you. We have travel templates, love, family, and friends, and festival. Not many, just nine templates, but it's an easy way to start off with something. Love story, photo album, Christmas party invitation designs, things like that. So there you go. That's a look around here at this great little video editor. Perfect for beginners or if you're just doing small short videos. Let me bring that website back up again for you right here. Again, I'll put the link for the download in the description. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.